Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and welcome to the 10th episode on how to write a high school lab report. Today we're taking a look at writing the conclusion section. So first things first, your conclusion must relate to the purpose of the lab. So there's a reason we did the lab. In concluding, you need to explain, well, did you actually achieve that purpose? So it needs to relate to the purpose of the lab. It also must relate to your hypothesis. So you had a purpose, you made a hypothesis about that, and well, how did you do? Were you successful in your hypothesis or were you way off? Now be careful when you write your hypothesis, or sorry, when you state whether or not your hypothesis was correct. You cannot say my hypothesis was correct. In science, we never know whether something was correct or not. There's always new information coming out, and so we can never say with absolute certainty that this is what something is. Instead, you would say something like, the results supported my hypothesis. So that's showing that, yes, the lab seemed to say that your hypothesis was correct, but you can't actually outright say that it was correct. Um, if you were wrong, you can say the results did not support my hypothesis. But using something along the lines of whether support was found or not is a much better way of going about it. It also must be supported by your observations and your analysis. So just because you know how the lab was supposed to turn out, you don't write your conclusion based on that. You write your conclusion based on the results that you actually obtained. Next thing, like the rest of our lab report, it's written in the past tense and it's written in the passive voice to avoid personal pronouns like I, me, we, us, and so on. So instead of writing, we found that the math stayed the same just like our hypothesis predicted. That has we and our in it. We want to get rid of those. So instead you could write the math stayed the same which supported the hypothesis. And then the last thing, between one to three paragraphs in length, if it's a lab that comes at the start of a unit of study, something small, more just to investigate something, closer to one paragraph is acceptable. If it comes at the end of a unit study and it's something summative to really show everything you know, closer to three paragraphs in length is more appropriate should be accurate based on the actual results of the lab. So I mentioned this already. Don't state what you think is supposed to happen, but let's see what actually happens and then discuss that. And finally, it should contain insightful connections to the real world. So if this was a lab about refraction, then you might talk about um, eyeglasses or something like that. So you're comparing what you learned in the lab and how that relates to real life. Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.